Hello and welcome to All Around the Board. Today I will be showing you how to play through for Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter is a worker placement game for one to four players. Essentially the Vault Overseer has died and it's up to one of us as the three players to make the best Vault. Uh, it's the one who creates the most happiness in the Vault will win at the end of the game. I must admit I've never played Fallout Shelter nor any of the Fallout games so in terms of the theme I'm not entirely sure but I really enjoy this game. For today's how to play through video I have set up for three players. I'm being joined by the lovely Jade and Jess. Hello there we are and it is worth noting that actually my eight-year-old daughter can play this game so it is actually a game for all players I would say. It's very lightweight but there's enough depth in there to play. So just a quick setup of the game. We will want our resource cubes and our happiness tokens just here. All players will take two of their own mini and put all the other ones into a general supply. You're going to shuffle this deck just here and then deal out three items. These are items that you can collect throughout the game. Then you're gonna shuffle all the common buildings and you will then deal three of those like you can see here. You then need to create the main vault. On the vault there are small numbers that you can just about see and you need to make sure these go in number order. Also noting that this small card here has a number 7 and then it continues all the way up to 12 and then this one hasn't got a number. So make sure these are in order. You can also shuffle the monster deck and just put them up here. And underneath you're going to take one of each of the colours, this is the elevator for each player. So when I build on my floor, I am the white player, I'll be building on this floor for example. Jess will be here and Jade will be on this floor here. Then in front of each player, you just get your two meeples and you need this board here. What this board will do, will track how many resources you have and it will also put workers in these slots if they have got any boosts at all. And finally, make sure the 2d6 are in reach of all players. So what we'll do for this video is, as we play, we will explain everything that is going on so you guys can learn how to play at home. The winner of this game is the person with the most happiness. You get happiness from all sorts of areas on this board. You will get them from buildings that you create, you will get them from items that you collect, and from doing certain jobs along here. You also get happiness for actually building the buildings themselves as well. Jess is going to start us off simply on a turn. She's going to take one of her workers and she's going to place it on one of the worker spaces up here. And she's going to start the round as she's the first player. Mm, I'm going to place this here. Okay, so when Jess goes to this location, she will pay any red if there is any. And on this particular action there aren't. This one will have red, so that would be a cost, but there is no cost for this. And then you're gonna get whatever is on the green at the top of the action. So that one is two food. The way you get food is you get these cubes here and you put them in your food section. So if you wanna put that two food on. Okay, I'm gonna select one of my workers and I'm gonna go ahead and get two electric. So again, there is no cost here, but I do get two electric. And again, I'll grab myself two cubes and put that in my electric section. Right, Jade, on to you. What are you going to go I'm for? I'm going for the single electricity. You're going for the single electric? Okay, so some of these actions are slightly worse off than the others, but unfortunately, if you go last, that's kind of what's going to happen. Jess, you've got one more worker. What I'm are you going to do? This here. Okay, and Jess is going to get one food. So if you take another cube and put that in your space there. So Jess has three food. It's worth noting that you can only get six of each resource because once this is filled up, you can't collect any more. Uh, with this worker then, I will go ahead and get myself a water. So I'm gonna go to this space here and get one water. I'm gonna put that down there. Right, and then Jade, it's onto I'm you. I'm gonna go next to you and get a water. Ah, nice. Once all players have spent all of their workers, we're going to go along the top and see if there are any actions taken that need resolving at the end of round, and none of these do, because these were instant actions. So we're just going to take our workers back. So I'm going to take my white ones back, and they just go back into your supply. Oh, yep, yeah, you get that Thank one. You. Okay, then for each floor, we're going to be rolling the 2d6 and we're going to be spawning a creature. Now, a creature does not spawn on a 7. These all count as 7. So for these three floors, we won't roll anything because we haven't got any buildings. But for the top floor, we are going to roll and see what we spawn. Aww. So that's a 6. So we're going to take the top 
creature and that's going to go on space six and what this does is it becomes a new action location so what was underneath which was an upgrade a worker unfortunately is covered now by a monster we can go here and do a battle if we want but i will explain battles in a bit just carry on watching and we will explain all the rules by the end of this video the round now moves on so jess is still the first player and she gets to place a worker so where would you like to go on the track yeah i'm gonna go there Okay, so on this space here, Jess gets to pay three food, which she has in her supply. Once she's paid her three food, she then gets an extra worker. That extra worker comes from the supply that you put aside, and it goes onto that card there. So at the end of the round, when she takes her workers back, she will have that extra worker. I'm going to take my worker and place him on the electric again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself two electric. Jade, it's on to you. She's shaken ahead of me because she definitely wanted that action. I will get the two food, please. Okay, you're going to go two food. All right, Jess, it's on to you. You've got another worker. I'm so what are you going to do with it? I'm going to place it here. Ah, okay, so Jess is going to attempt a battle. Very daring because what she needs to do is get a nine or more on 2d6 in a roll to beat it. So this is where a bit of luck comes in, but we've seen your rolls before, haven't we? And yeah. they're very lucky. So let's see what she gets. Nine or more. Come on, you can do this. Done. Are you joking? He's dead. Nine. Straight nine. That's incredible. Okay, Jess, so if you would like to take that creature away, you keep your worker there though, and that allows you to get a gift. So that little gift symbol at the top means that she can take one of these three cards here. I'm going to take the husband. A husky, so can I just have a look at what this yeah. says? So this one says exhaust to exchange water and food at the rate shown. So if she exhausted this on a turn by turning it sideways, she can spend a water to get two food or spend two food to get one water. Exhausted cards can become unexhausted at the end of each round. So this is something that you can use once every round. So there you go, there's your husky and that just goes in your play area there. We then deal out a new card. What do we got there? So this one is, oh, a happiness at the end of the game for every pet you have. Was that a pet you just grabbed? Yep. So she got this one, that would get her extra points. That's nice. Yeah. Right, okay then, um, it's on to myself. Nicely done, by the way, Jess, that's very lucky. Uh, what can I do over here? What's worth doing? I think, actually, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna take this first player marker and then at the end of the round, I can train this worker to become an L. With specialised workers, when it becomes an L, on my next turn, if I go to an L space, I get to double whatever the reward is. So if I went here, I'd get two food. If I went here, I'd get two electric. It's very worth training workers as you play. Uh, right, Jade, it's on to you. I shall get the one electric. The one electric, okay? And again, if that was an L, you would have got two. Yeah. Right, so that is the end of the round because all players have spent their workers. So we're gonna take our workers back. My one comes back as an L. So that just goes in that slot there. And this one comes back and then you two get your workers back as well. There you go. Right, Jess, can you roll for the top floor? We're gonna see if we get a bad guy. Oh, I hope you don't. Nice, 10, okay, so. These, oh, what well, they're called rad roaches, are gonna go on here, so they're stopping the food at the moment. This one with a question mark means when we defeat it, you get any resource of your choosing. Mm. Okay, so I'm on, on the first player. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my L, and I'm gonna put him on this space here, which, because it was specialized, they get two food. Uh, so if I grab two of these, I'm gonna put that in there. Jade, it's on to you. Guess what I'm gonna do. You're gonna, don't know, electric. Double no. electric. Double electric. Okay, Jess, that. on to you. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna place this here. Okay, so that gets the first player marker, so you can take that back. Well, that was long live, wasn't it? <laughs> and when it comes back, it gets trained as an L. Um, for myself, I'm going to place this I oh, should be able to make something by now. To make a building, you need to go to your space on your floor and you get to do the build action. That red symbol there means I spend the resources along the bottom of the card. So I'm actually going to get a water, I think, because I want to get that treatment center. Uh, I'm going to go up here and get one water. And then Jade, it's 
on to you. I'm going to go and fight that rad. You're going to give it a go, yeah? So it's a five plus you need. Nice, that was a nine. Okay, so that one's done. You get a resource of your choosing. And uh, yeah, so that then goes on to Jess. You've got two workers left. And it's just you, so you get the next two choices. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to go on the electric. Yeah. Get yourself an electric. And you've got another action. Um, then I'm going to go on this one. And get yourself a water. Good stuff. Okay, so that is the end of the round. Jess, that one comes back specialised as L. Okay, and then you get your other workers back as normal. Right, Jess, roll for the top floor. See what bad guys we've got. And that is number four. So we've got the raider is going to go on level four. So that's unfortunately blocking that action. Right, Jess, you're the first player again. So don't forget you've got a specialised L, but you can do other stuff first. What shall I do? Maybe I should do this. Oh, she's going to go for a fight again. Right, go on then, Jess. So roll your 2d6. You, you guys will probably find out in a bit what happens if you get knocked out. Not yet, though. Are you joking? That is a 10. Oh, my goodness. Right, okay. So okay. she beats that, and she gets a present. So what would you like from here? <laughs> of course, she's in game points for every pet she has. I think she's got this, so should yeah. we just let her win? I don't know. <laughs> Right, it's on to me then. I will go ahead and build. So I'm going to go here. Uh, when I build, I'm going to get two happiness. And then that symbol there is, is the build action. So firstly, I'll go ahead and get my two points. Um, I'm in the lead, yay. And I'm going to go and build the water purification. Oh. So on the bottom there, it's got two water and three electric, which you can see I have here. Two water and three electric. And then that can get built onto my level. I can either go this side or this side. It's worth noting though that when we roll for monsters, this will become uh, five and six. And if I put it this side, it will become eight and nine. Um, because the water is better that side, I will go there. So this card becomes two new locations that we can use to put workers. I can put mine on and use it as normal, but if another player comes to my level, they can still use it, but I get a resource of my choosing when they use somewhere on my floor. Right, let's refill that. Jade, it is on to you. Huh. Huh, yes. <laughs> okay, you're going to build, so you get two happiness from the supply, and then you get to build. What are you so going to build? Three electric and two food. And I'm going to build yes. a garden. Ah, nicely done. And where are you going to place I'm it? Place it just I'm going to here. place it that side. Excellent. So we've got two buildings on the go now. Jess, it's on to you. So don't forget you've got your specialised L if you want to use it. Or you can just uh, play as normal. Okay, so you get two electric. I think I'm going to go and use my own level. And I'm going to go there and get myself two water back. Okay, and that goes down there. Jade, on to you. I'm going to go to here and get three food. Yeah. All right, Jess, back to you. I think you've just got your L left. So what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to build. You're going to build, are you? Okay, so you get two happiness. Let's do that. And what are you going to build? Well, I'm going to build. Yeah, so that's three electric and one water. Which side are you going to put it? Right, just going to put it the same side as me. So we've all got a build in this turn. That's really good. Have we got any upgrades to come back? I don't think I do. I've just got those to come back. So now before we start the next round, we've got four floors worth of monsters that we've got to roll for. So let's start on the top floor first. Jess, if you could roll the 2d6 and see what we get. So that is a four. So we're going to put our, what's this called? A rad scorpion on level four. So that's going to go there. Then we're going to roll for this floor here. Oh, my floor. So if we get a five or a six, we're going to get a creature. Well, nope, that's a, that's a nine. Right, then roll for the next floor. That's no. an 11. Nope, and then this floor here. So if we get an eight or a nine, it's going to go on there. And that's 11. So we're clear on those three. Mm. Just to let you guys know, the game ends in one of two ways. One way is if we fill up our vault with six buildings. The other way is if this deck runs out. So the more monsters that go out, the more chance of the game ending. 
Right, Jess, you're going to start the round off then. Let's see what you can do. Well, I'm going to put this on here. Yeah, and you're going to try and attack it for, what's that, an 8 plus? Okay, let's see what you got. Who's going to win it? Yeah, of course she is. That's a nine again. Wow. So take that off. That gets you one happiness and a resource of your choosing. Okay, I am going to go ahead and... Oh, I need to get some gear. What can I buy? I think I might go for the games room. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? So I'm going to go and build. I'm going to get myself two happiness for building. And then in the games room, I'm going to spend... Four resources of my choosing and one electric. Well, that's pretty much all my resources, but I'm not too bothered because I do want another building. And I'm going to put that building over here. So that now becomes a three and a four. Right. Jade, on to you. I am going to go here. So you're going to pay three food and you're going to get an extra worker. Thanks. Okay. And then Jess, it's on to you. I'm going to place this on the two energy. Yep. Yeah. Right, I've got one more worker. Um, do, 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 do. What would I like to do? I will go and get myself two water. Right, and then Jade, back to you. I will go and get um, one electricity, please. Yeah. And then Jess, you're finishing the round off. Um, I'm going to go here. Okay, so you get the first player marker, which you've got anyway, but then you're going to bring that back as an L. Since it's the end of the round, you might as well take that back now. And take your other workers back. Jessica, you get to roll for each floor. So we're going to do the top floor first. Okay, so that's an 11. So we're putting the glowing rad scorpion on number 11, which is here. Then we need to roll for this floor. Okay. So we need a 5 or a 6 if... Ah, oh, it's a 6. Right, so that's a rad scorpion going onto Jess's level. Like then onto my level. So anywhere from a three to a six is going to unfortunately get me a monster. Five. That's a five, of course it is. Oh, I've got a really difficult one to go on there as well. Uh, five, yeah, so that goes on there. And then and Jade's cool. floor is an eight or a nine. It's an 11, that's clear. So at the end of the game, for every creature that we have not defeated will lose us one happiness per. I've got such a horrible one. I said, that takes two workers as well and a specialist in E to get double the reward. Oh wow, I don't think I'm gonna get that. We'll see. Um, right, Jess, you're gonna start us off with the next round then. Well, I'm going to place this here. Yep, yeah, okay, so you need an eight plus. And then Jess, get an eight plus, can you do it? Yes. Yep, yeah, she got exactly eight, oh my goodness. Right, you get happiness and a resource of your choosing. Extremely lucky with her rolls. Mm. Right, I'm going to, oh, do I attempt it? I need a nine plus, but that's both my goes. If I did that now, I'm going to try it. Why not? Just for the camera's sake, I'm just going to give it a go. So I need a nine plus. Really, I should get Jess to roll this. Nine plus and I get two points. Can we do it? No. Wow. That's a four. Okay, so what happens there is both of my workers become injured, which is not good news. Um, they, they just lay down when they're injured because I lost the fight. Jade, it's on to you. That was embarrassing. Uh, oh yeah, this one here. So you get a nine plus, yeah? Go on then. Oh. Ah, even worse than me. So unfortunately that's injured. Right, Jess, it's back to you. Okay, so I'm going to play here. Yeah, you're going to build, so you get two happiness. Yes. I'll grab you those. And I'm going to do this okay. one. Okay. What do you need for that one? All of what she's got. Um, all of what I've got. All of it, okay. So chuck that back in the supply. And then add to a floor. So you're going to add there, are you? Science lab, nice. What does that get you? Does that cure... Oh, that cures workers. Oh, okay. You, it looks like you're going to be um, getting some resources out of me, especially when my guys come back. Uh, I use both of my guys and they're injured, so it's back to you, Jade. I will go here. Okay, yeah. So you get the first bow marker and it's going to come back as an L. And then, Jess, you've got your L worker left. Where's it going to go? Play this. On, let me have a look here. Um, I'm going to play this here. Yeah, so you get two electric, okay? Okay, Jade, on to your go. Oh, so what are you going to do? free food. Yeah, I thought you might. That's a really good one. Okay, that's us all done, yeah? Yeah. So, at the end of the round, these two of mine come back injured. So they come back laid down, unfortunately. 
Uh, Jade, that one comes back to you laid down as well. Yeah. I'll just cart him off and then get your other workers back. There we go. So with injured workers, they can only go to spaces with this symbol on here, which is kind of like a, a man with a bandage around his head. So you can only go to these, and they generally are healing spaces. And this is the symbol for healing a worker. So I'm not going to be doing a lot on my go, to be honest. Right, Jess, we need to roll for each floor. So let's start with the top floor. Uh -huh. What have we got? That's a five. So we're going to put fire with lots of exclamation marks on level five. Okay, and then Jess, you can roll for the next floor. So for your floor, good luck. That's five. a five. Wow, okay, so what are these? These are the mole rats, and they're going to go on here. And then onto my, <laughs> my level. Oh, no, I don't need any more on mine, thanks. Seven, Seven. yes, nothing happens. And then this okay. one, eight or a nine for mummy's floor. Come on, roll an eight or a nine. Oh, darn. Okay, right, so we are ready for the next round then. Okay, so Six. Jess, you're gonna, oh, no, you're, Jade's going to start us off this time. What Six. are you going to do? I'm going to put him there. You'll, oh, you're laid down guy, yeah. And when he comes back, he's going to come specialised as an eye. Okay. Uh, Jess, you get a resource of your choosing because mummy used your floor. Mm, I'm going to so, get water. Okay, there you go. Uh, Jess, onto your go. So I'm going to play this here. Okay, and you spend I'm one water. I'm going to stop the fire. Yeah, that is spend one water and you get one happiness. So let's take that off. Get yourself a happiness then. Uh, right, it's on to me. So I've only got two laid down, unfortunately. So this one's going to go... Oh, no, I can't go there because it costs the food. Right, it's going to have to go there then, which means he's healed. Right, back yeah. to you, Jade. Okay, I will put this on that L and get two electric. Up here, yeah. yeah. Okay. Jess, on to you. I'm going to try to defeat them. Yep, so that is a six plus for a point. Go on then, you can do this. Dead <laughs> no, a six plus. You don't need a double six for it. <laughs> oh my goodness, her rolls have been so good. Right, get yourself a point then. Uh, then it's on to me. I've only got one worker that's laid down. Unfortunately, I've got no food, so I can't do anything for the rest of my turn. So it's on to you, Jade. Okay, so I'm going to build. Yeah. I'm going to build the storage room. And you get two happiness. What does the storage room require? It requires two electric, two, uh, one food and a water. Okay, and um, where's that going to go? Onto that end. Okay, so that now becomes the 10 and 11 space for rolling monsters. Okay, Jess, it's on to you. I think you're finishing the round. I'm going to play this here. Okay, so two electric coming your way. Right, we're all done, yes? We've yeah. all spent our workers. I do have a worker, but he's laying down. Unfortunately, he is very injured. Okay, so now we get to take our workers back and not forgetting that they come back specialised. That one come back as an eye. Uh, and that one, and then you two get those Might ones didn't back. didn't come as anything back. Okay, Jess, roll for each floor then, please. So let's start with the top floor. What have we got? A two. So our glowing one is going to go all the way over here. Right. I'll be able to defeat that. Next one. A ten. No, nothing happens on that floor. Next floor, so this is onto my floor. That's a four. Have we got anything on four already? Nope, I don't. So that's the power outage. Um, Look, as you can tell, it makes the scene very dark. Okay, and then onto Jade's floor, floor or Mummy's floor even. <laughs> that's a seven, so nothing happens. You've got away with this. Turn, yeah. yeah, well done. Um, right, Je uh, no, Jade is starting off the round because she's got the first player marker. Oh, I've got a specialised eye, so I'm going to put it in there anyway. Ah, so I get a resource of my choosing. No, I don't. It's only when you use one of my rooms. Yeah. So spend two electric and you get a happiness. Yeah, it's worth noting that if you clear something on somebody else's floor, they don't get the resource. It's only if you use their actual room. So that comes off and, yep, yeah, that's all done. Did you get happiness? Yeah? Yeah. So you're going to get two, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And that will fill you up with the electric. Right, back to me. So I'm going to take my injured worker and put it there so it can come back specialised. Right, Jade, on to you. I'm going to try. You're going to attempt it. So you need a 9 plus. I know that 9 plus seems really hard unless you're just rolling, but you can buy items that will help towards that. What did you roll? 
a three. So they are dead. Oh, wait, I just healed that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jess, on to you. Well, I'm going to build. Yep, so you get two happiness. Let's get you more points that you don't need. Can't believe this. Didn't she win the last time we played this? I think she did, yeah. Okay. So I'm what are you going building? to spend this. Is that five electric for more yep. electric? Yep. So what side are you going to go? That side or here? Here. Mm, yeah. You're going to go there. Okay. Right. Then it is on to me. I actually have a worker. Yay, I'm back in the game. <laughs> um, what am I going to go for? I think I'm going to get three food. So Jade, you get resource that you want because I'm going on your floor, but I'm going to get myself three food. Right, and then Jade, back to you. You got any workers? No. Nope, okay. Jess, you got any workers left? Yes, one. Yep, okay, so go on then. I'm going to go here. Yeah, and you get two electric. That is the end of the round, so if anything comes back injured or specialised, that comes back as an eye. Yours come back. Oh, that one. Jess, you get yours as well. Aha! Uh -huh. So, yep, they're yours. So I've got one that come back as an eye and one that come back as normal. Right, then we need to roll monsters for each floor then. So let's start with the top floor. Uh, that is a six. So our glowing rad scorpion will go on to here. Right, then My your floor. level. Yep, let's see what you get. It's a seven, you're clear. Onto my floor. A nine. Yep, I'm clear. And then onto Jade's floor. So hopefully you roll a nine again. Nope. That's a four. No? Okay, so really nothing lucky, on yeah. those three floors. Thank goodness for that. Okay. Right, you're starting us off then. I am, so I'm going to pop that there. Oh, yeah, because it was injured, it yeah? Was, okay. Yeah. Right, Jess, on to you. I'm going to place this here. Okay, so what do you need to beat it? Eight. Eight plus, and you're going to get happiness. Let's go for it. Nope. And your luck has run out, so that is injured, I'm afraid. I'm telling you, it'll come back. It'll come back. <laughs> the luck will come back, will it? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Right, there's actually nothing that requires an eye as a specialist, which is a shame. Um, so, shall I just spend it? I might as well. Um, do I go ahead and try the big dude again? I want to buy some stuff from here, but it doesn't really power up. Um, I could pay two water. In fact, I will do this. So, I'm going to send my guy here. We're going to go to this location here. So, it says, spend two water... This symbol here means I get to refresh this market first, so I get to clear them. And then the second symbol is I get a present. So I'm going to clear those three because they're a load of old poop. And I'm going to take one of these. These are even worse. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Um, Specialised for C or E. There's more. Ah, there is actually an E there. So I'm going to take this one because I can exhaust this to train a worker as an E. So I might do that in a mo. Right, Jade, on to you. And I'll bring him back to being healed. Oh, because you, you damaged That's both true, of them, yeah. yeah. Go on then, Jess, back to you. I'm going to try to defeat him. Okay, what's that, a nine plus? Yes. Go on then, let's see Let's see your worker get yeah, injured. Give me luck, give me luck. Come on, you can do it. She's done it. She's yeah. done it, yes, so that's a nine. You get happiness and a resource of your choice. You did say your luck was going to come back. Yep, yeah, I told you. Uh, where's my worker going to go? Does anything need three food? No, that all needs electric, doesn't it? Ah, where's Jess's floor? There. Right, Jess, you get a resource of your choice. Ah, yay! And I'm going to get three electric. That's going to go in there quite nicely. Jade, it's back to you. Yes, I think I'll try and defeat that up there. This? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, so it's a nine plus. Can she do it? We're really chancing it on all of these, aren't we? Yeah. This. Nine plus, well done. So you get a happiness and a resource of your choosing. Okay. We haven't got many monsters left in this deck, to be honest. Right, go on then, Jess. I'm going to play here. Yep, so you get two happiness first. And then you get to build a building. What are you going to build? Yes, this one. It's got to be, it must be. Yeah, three electric and two water. Where's it going to go, Jess? Which side? Which side would you like it to go? Would you like it to go here or over there? Um, here, please. Here? Yeah, okay. So that's going to go there. Uh, I'm out of workers, so it's back to you, Jade. I'm out of workers. I'm Jess, out of workers. you're out of workers. Right, okay. So now we need to take our workers back, remembering that if any get an upgrade, they come back upgraded. So right, let's roll for the top floor then for the next round. Let's see what we got. That's a seven, that's a clear. Right, so then on to your floor. 
That's a five. So we're going to take our Yay. feral ghoul and we're going to put that on level five. There you go. And then onto my floor. Please don't give me any more creatures. I've got a hard enough one to beat as is. Seven, yes, that's good. more like it. Right so, for me. And then this one. It's a 10, so uh, 8, 9, 10, this one. Oh, I've got one. And you're, you've got the glowing rad roaches. Yeah, well, you can't stick out of it for that long. Yeah. Right, Jade, you're on first. Stay you're going to try and beat it at uh, 6 plus, yeah? Yeah. Go on then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> injured, so injured. Right, go on then, Jess. So I'm going to heal mine. Yep, yeah, you're going to heal yours. I'm going to use this, so I'm going to tap it. I'm going to specialise this one as an E, and then I'm going to take my E and the other one, and I'm going to go and attempt this creature just here. You and I need, do it, I need a nine plus. Come on, shall I do one die at a time? Yeah. So here's the first one. <gasps> oh, I can do it. Five or a six. Come on. No. No. <laughs> oh, they're both injured. Splat. Yeah, he's really difficult to do. But I did it with an E, so if I did do it, I would have got eight. Uh, no, I would have got four points if I did do that. Go on then, Jade, on to you. Okay, I will. What have we got to defeat now? Let's go with this one. Yeah, the one on your floor. What's he got? Uh, a seven plus? Oh no, it's on Jess's floor. Seven plus. Come on, you can do it. Nope. Uh -huh. I mean, oh. I don't know why I'm laughing, mine, mine are injured as well. Uh, right, Jess, you're going for an 8 plus, are you? Okay. Uh, that one was injured, wasn't it? No, or did it you, oh, you knocked it, it over. This one. Okay, right, go on then, Jess, roll that. 8 plus, you can do it. And. No, nope, that's a 6. So that one's injured as well, lay that down. And I think. Oh, it's back to Jade, you've got a specialist in eye, but I don't think there are any no. eye There's a lot locations. Of injured here. I think I will just go for three electric. There's three electric, good choice. Oh, Jess, you get a resource of your choosing because mummy went to your floor. Right, Jess, your last worker for the round. Yeah. Where are you going to go? I'm going to go here. Yeah, and you get yourself two electric. I got it. Okay, so that is the end of the round. So take back any workers, injured or not, and if they are specialists in anything. Got two injured workers again. I really should get more workers. I also get to untap this one. Okay, so that is ready for me to use again. Right, we need to roll for the floor. So top floor, seven, we are clear. Right, next one. That is a four. four. Okay, so the feral ghoul onto Jess's level again. And that's gonna go just here. I can kill. Onto my level then. All right, and that's a six. Which I think, oh no, I haven't got a creature on already, so there we go. That's oh. another creature there. And then onto Mummy's floor last. Let's see what you got. I got it. Go on then. That is a 10. There's already one on 10. Which, yep, there's already a creature there, so we wouldn't put out another one. So we are ready to start the round. Jade, you are up first. Okay, six plus. Go on, you can do this. We just want to defeat monsters this game, it seems. Done it. Yep, you've cleared it. So you get a resource of your choosing. Yeah. Okay. Jess, it's on to you, so what, what do you want to do? Okay, you get an eight plus and you defeat that. Have a roll. I'm surprised you're not defeating your own ones, but I guess she wants the points, so. Yeah, there we go, her luck's back in. So clear that one off and get yourself one happiness. Okay, it's on to me next. I've only got two injured workers, so it's gonna go here. So it'll come back specialist and I. Jess, you get a resource of your choosing because it was on your floor. Jay, that's on to you. Oh, she's going to go for that one. Oh, we get to stand these up now, actually. Come to think of it, once they go there, they can just be healed. Right, Jess, back to you. Um, I'm going to heal mine. You can't. Actually, can't. There aren't any um, heal spaces, unfortunately. So you're going to attempt your 7+, plus, yeah? Off you go. Good luck. Done. Yeah, well done. So take that off and get yourself another happiness. She is smashing it on the points. What's yeah. she on now? Fifteen. 15. I'm on. I'm sat here on four. For goodness sake. I mean, oh wow. Okay, so I've got one worker, but he's injured. So Jade, it's back to you, and you've got an injured worker as well. Mm -hmm. Look at that. We've all got a worker each. that's <laughs> injured. So, so that is the end of the round. So mine comes back as an I. Right. Let's roll for the round then. So top floor, Jess. What have we got? That is a nine. So eight, nine, it's gonna go here. What have we got there? The rad roaches. All right, onto your floor. 
That is an 11, which goes on here. This is the last creature, so this, that means this is the last round because the deck runs out. We are still gonna roll for these two rounds, but what we do is we shuffle that deck and we're gonna deal out creatures there. But this will be the last round. So that is a seven, we are clear, and then onto the bottom floor. That is a six, which is also clear. So yeah, the deck has run out, so this will be the last round, starting with you, Jade. Ah, she's gonna attempt my one, thank you. I won't lose points if you do it. So that's a nine plus, can she do it? Go on. Yes, she's done it. Wow, okay, so you get two happiness, and I essentially don't lose one because okay, you cleared it on my floor. Nicely let's done. quickly get rid of all these other monsters. Yeah, you might want to get rid of them on your floor because you've got two, haven't you? So that's an eight plus. Can you do it? Go on then. Eight plus for you. No. Nope, okay, so that one's injured, I'm afraid. Right, it's back to mine. Uh, I'm going to put this injured one up here. So he is now healed, and then it's back to you, Jade. Anything I can do is go here. Yeah. And then Jess, you get a resource of your choosing. Right, what are you going to try and attack? Are you going to try and attack that one on your floor? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so seven plus. Go on luck, then. Luck, luck, luck. Yeah. Go on, you can do it. Nope. Nope, so that one is injured as well. And then I've got my eye. What am I going to do for my eye? Injured now? Um, I don't think I really Daddy? get any points oh, for this. They are. Do I get anything specialised as an E? No. No, I don't. Okay. Um, oh, blimey. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what really gets me points at the end. Maybe I should build something. Um, that all requires electric, which is not good. Um, I will just go ahead and... Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go here. So this symbol means I have to injure my worker, but I will get... A happiness for doing it. I guess when it goes here, they just get drunk in the back of the games room and Probably, they've just become yeah. injured from drinking or they too lose much. A game. Or they lost a game, yeah. Uh, Jade, are you done? Yeah. Jess, you've got one more worker, but it's injured, is it? So. Maybe yeah, I mean, they got hit by a ping pong ball. Possibly, yeah. So it's not really. I mean, Jess could heal that worker, but unfortunately, it's the end of the round anyway. So. It what we will now do for the end of the game is we are going to total up how many points we have in front of us. We're then going to minus any creatures that are still on our floor. So I've got one creature, so I actually lose a point. Jade, how many have you got None. on your floor? None. So you're going to stay at eight. And then Jess, how many have you got on your floor? You've got two. So go down to 13. So if I give you three back. And also, Jess has a little end of game card over there, which says you get... Uh, happiness per pet you have is that right and does that include itself no it doesn't so one more point back so what has she got she's got 14 i've ended with four and jade you've ended with eight i must say that's probably the quickest game of fallout i've ever played yeah i think we went through the monster deck so quickly and jess loves defeating monsters well done <laughs> she won on camera yeah. more proof that she can win games so yeah, we really enjoy this game. There is a lot of luck involved in terms of defeating the creatures. But if we had a little bit longer, we could actually end up buying more of these items. I mean, you can see there's loads of them. You can start to buy guns to help you. And these actually add to your die result. So you get plus two, that one gets you plus three. You've got some other stuff that allow you to re-roll as well. So we have all of these different benefits. And we've got loads of different rooms that we didn't see throughout the game. There is a lot of variables. It is designed to be about an hour long. It's just a very simple worker placement game. And it's really enjoyable. Even though it is lucky with the roll, it becomes a spectator sport because you get to watch people like Jess roll really well on her turn. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more games such as Fallout Shelter and all other games that will be featured on the channel very soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.